So I'm just stopping by one of my nuke yards and I just want to show you how these uh, six frame units are working together to start to store me a honey crop up top here. Many of you are asking how this actually works and I'll show you. It's, I have three separate units here underneath two queen excluders and the units are all sharing uh, honey boxes on top. So these two units are sharing this box and these two units are sharing that box. So I'll just show you just a quick look at what's going on in here. They are smaller units and they haven't quite worked themselves into the top box yet. But I can see they're actively cleaning and preparing the top boxes here um, for honey storage. So there's no honey storage in these boxes yet but every frame has a bunch of bees cleaning them. So in here, same with this one, these guys are actively being worked. So up top here, you can see that the bees are coming up and they're actively storing uh, nectar into these frames. All the way across, you can see. There's no fighting. They're just kind of working together uh, to use this space. And what they're doing is they're maintaining their brood nest down below. And as that queen demands more space for the brood, they push all the resources up top. So here's a full frame of nectar being stored away. These guys have just started on their honey collection. There's another full frame of nectar. So I gotta watch with these units because they start brooding up pretty quick. And once they start hatching, they start pushing more bees into the workforce and they'll require fewer bees to uh, maintain their home because there's a smaller unit than a single box. So they'll put more into the workforce and they'll start bringing more uh, honey in. Here's another frame full of nectar. These guys are working right across. So it'll take them about a week, week and a half. They'll have this, these two boxes here filled. They'll be on to the top. So I just have to watch to make sure that I uh, keep ahead of them with space. So up here, well, they're storing a bit of nectar up here. Not a lot. They're just basically cleaning the place up, getting it ready to go. Storing some nectar up on top here as well. So as you can see, these units are working together. They, uh, they're sharing the space up top as a queen demands more space down below for the brood nest, all the resources, all the honey, the ne all the nectar, the honey gets pushed to the top boxes and uh, they process it and store it away for me to collect. Uh, because of the smaller units, there's less house bees required down here, so more bees get uh, sent into foraging mode. So that's basically the, uh, the logic behind it, the theory behind it, and I'm just showing you an ongoing series of videos and, and how these colonies are developing because um, this is a very interesting way to build nukes and yield honey at the same time while totally eliminating all of your uh, nuke brood nest maintenance through the summer.